what is up everybody welcome back to the channel and we got a lot of harvesting to do today so we're gonna have to change this corn header out for the regular grain header and i figured while we were over here we might as well just spray her on off a little bit got some other stuff to wash too while we're over here we might do it all cleaned up. Of course, we can't go too far away from the pressure washer. But that's all right. This is all we need here. There we go. Nice and clean. We'll go ahead and spray this stuff off too. Definitely been needing to do it, so we might as well go ahead and get her done. while we have everything out probably not going to make it all the way over there but we can try let's see uh, it is going to be close I at least get this tractor here there we go oh, that's it she snatched it back from me We'll do the rest of the cleaning later. That's a little dirty still. Alright, so let's back her on up. There we go. And we're going to drop this corn header right here. As long as we don't hit anything. Let's see here. Lower it on down. Drop it off. We'll spin around to the other side and grab that grain header. And we'll go ahead and jump in the field. I was thinking about getting a grain cart. Because that truck is definitely going to be overloaded. Grain cart will give it a little bit of help. We're just going to start right here on the edge and turn into her. See what we can get done. There we go. I know this is going to take quite a while, but hopefully we don't be doing this all day. Got a few other things we got to do. So we'll get as much done of this as we can. Soybeans usually ain't don't take as, as long because the header's a lot wider than the rest of them. So hopefully that'll be a good advantage for us. Make sure we don't miss much. Doing pretty good so far. Looks like we got about 61 bushels already in the back there. Coming out nice and good. Oh yeah, she looks good. But I was thinking about bailing up some of the hay. Well, we already got the hay bailed up. But I was thinking about wrapping some of the uh, silage bales that we did on that grass field way down yonder. And getting that ready to start fermenting. Probably going to sell a great deal of them because we got a lot of round bales. Don't really know which ones I want to use yet, but we'll figure it out. Don't really know how I'm going to approach this field neither. I think I might do just this strip here from what we can see right here. And then we'll do the rest of the field with the up and down rows, what I'm thinking. We're not missing. We missed a little bit back there, but that's okay. So hopefully this doesn't take all day, but if it does, it'll be well worth it. Seems like we're getting pretty good grain out of here, so... Well, pretty good beans. Don't know how many bushels per acre, but we'll figure that out. 
screens don't seem like they're working right now. Have to figure that out in a little bit. But I think I'm going to go ahead and jump into it and try to get this done. And I will see y'all back here shortly. Alright everybody, we're back. And I forgot we got a full load of corn back here, so I think we're gonna take this to the restaurant. And well not all of it, but they gave me a call and said that they needed some corn, so I think we're gonna start our own up and head on over there to the restaurant and drop some of it off. And then we're gonna go to the co-op and throw some in their silo, see how much they'll give us. But a uh, restaurant should be up here on the left. I don't know where they want me to dump it at. So we're going to have to figure that out. I would assume it'd be around back. So let's see if we can get this thing in there. Just hope I don't have to back up. There it is. Okay. We should be able to get the trailer right where we need it. See, there we go. And we'll figure out how much we need to dump. I don't know. But I think uh probably dump about half of it. So I'd say that's good. Right about there. Sounds like a lot of people's in there. Alright, so they gave us seventy three thousand for half a load. That is not too bad. And let's go on over to the co-op and see what they got for us. They didn't tell me a price when I called down there, but they said nobody would be able to beat it. So let's see. I'm going to ride on down here. It's over here next to the shop. So it shouldn't be too far of a drive, but I will see y'all when we get over there. All right, we're pulling up on the shop now. And I think it's over here on the left. I'm not too sure. I don't see a silo, so it's kind of confusing. Got some stuff down here, too, already that we need to get. All right, so... Huh. Maybe here. Or here think not a hundred percent sure though so let me knock on some doors and see if anybody's around and try to figure it out maybe the guy at the shop over there can tell me but we'll figure it out and i will be right back all right so we just went in there and the guy told us that we could unload over here in this last bay here this one right here so we're going to back up there and drop this load off. Oh, we got a surprise down here. Called the shop earlier today. Asked them if they had anything that we could wrap some uh, square bales with. 
And he said, come on down and check it out. He have it sitting out for us, and here it is. So we have to pick this up later and use that on that field way down yonder next to the cows. That should be pretty fun. I haven't used one of them before. All right, so how are we going to swing this thing? Let's cut her to the right a little bit and try to swing her on around. Oh, yeah, we'll make it. Not a problem. Looks like they got a mess out here. Got some pallets on the ground and stuff. Hopefully we didn't just run over it. Let me make sure I'm lined up because I am terrible at this. All right. So we need to go there. Guess I need to aim at the sun maybe. I don't know. All right. Let's see. Nope. Wrong way. There we go. Cut it that way. Oh, right, here we go. Um, are we going the right way? Whoo! Almost backed into the wall there. All right, let me make sure I'm at the right one. Okay. All right, we are. Let's go ahead and dump the rest of this. There she goes. 74,000. All right, so that was actually less than half a load, so they did give us a pretty good price. I'll have to go over here and ask him real quick. Let's go talk to him real quick and see how much per bushel. I'll be right back. All right, so he gave us $29 a bushel. That is insane, so definitely going to bring some more back over here. We got plenty. So we'll come back to visit them pretty soon. But for now, we got to grab the soybeans. I wonder, uh, I should have asked him while we were here if he would give us a good price on soybeans too. But we're going to have to take that somewhere. We got no storage room. Probably going to have to invest in some more silos this off season. But I don't think we'll have much of an off season because we're going to do some wheat, I think and figure out some other crops we could do. But for now, I'm gonna get this truck back over to the farm and I will see y'all shortly. All right, we are pulling up on the farm now. Get on over here and get this thing unloaded. I wonder if I left the combine running, I'm not sure. We are about to find out, ain't we? I think we still got the tarp on. Let's take this cover off. There we go. Let's see if she'll start loading. And I think she is. There we go. I did leave it running. Not the greatest. I'm probably losing some, but it doesn't look like it. But nonetheless, she's going in there. And we'll have to figure out what to do with this once we get the trailer loaded. Thought about getting a grain car, but I think we'll be fine. Ground's pretty hard. And we get a great deal done on that one combine load. So uh, let's hop back in her and continue on.
right everybody we got the trailer full and we figured out where we're going to take it so we're going to swing on out of the field here and go over to the south west co-op drop it in their silos i think we'll just run right through the farm here they're giving us a pretty good price so we're going to take it over there and you know what we haven't fed buddy in a while still haven't figured out a name for him but can't let him starve so there you go buddy just love it when he runs in slow motion there you go all right so hopefully we get a pretty good price for this i think we'll go all the way down to the end and take a left but our target destination is down there, that big old green silo. And we'll be coming up on the field that we're going to uh, wrap the bales on, too, so we can take a look at that. Hopefully that didn't take us too long. Well, we haven't spent too much time. Right now it's almost noon, so... We have been harvesting for about an hour and a half. As you can see, we got a round bale in there, but hopefully this field doesn't take us too long. All right. Swing this thing around. She is definitely loaded up heavy. Soy beans must weigh a little bit more. Well, we should get a good price for them and we'll continue the harvest after that. Still got to bail up the straw over here. There's some in the road right there. Let me slow down a little bit. There we go. I don't know why we left some in the road, but first time you're going to do make some mistakes, so it is just fine. All right, let's see where we have to pull in here. All right, I see it. There we go. I think we've been here before. All right, pull up until we get that trailer where we need it. All right, there we go. Hopefully we can uh, I don't know if this is going to work. Oh, boy. Okay, so we went through the roof. That'll work. She is emptying out pretty quick. I wonder if we can go back and see. No, I left the tarp on. $392,000. <laughs> on one trailer load. Yeah, we're going to make a kill in the day. All right, so let's get back to the field and finish that. I was going to cut a little short and go uh, wrap some bales, but we're going to have to wait until we're done now because we got to get this good price. So uh, I will see y'all back in the field. everybody we are back i'm gonna spin this thing around just a little bit we did miss a little bit right here i'm gonna go ahead and drop her down and heat her on up because we are making a lot of money i don't want to miss any all right and we are all just about out of fuel so we're going to have to use that service truck here in a second and i'm going to go ahead and unload this combine 
don't have much more room left in the trailer but we'll go sell what we got and i think we're gonna make a call down to the shop and see if anybody can build us a silo because i think we're gonna hold on to some of the soybeans so the price ain't gonna do nothing but get better so we might as well take advantage of that and store some or we could sell some corn make some room i don't know we'll uh We'll see. We'll go ask the guy at the shop if he knows anyone to install some and how much time it would take. So, but right now, I'm going to jump out. I'm going to run down here and grab the truck. Well, you know what? Let's go ahead and shut this thing down. I'm going to go grab the fuel truck first. Service truck. And... We'll come back. All right. After a long run down here, we are finally here. Let's hop on in here and get her started up. Some nice forward sounds there. That's pretty cool. Pull on up here and back on up and get her hooked up. See if we can even see the trailer back there. All right. Backed up perfect for a change. I can't believe that. All right, we're going to have to take this on up to the farm and get it filled up. And then we can fuel up the combine. So I will see y'all when we get there. All right, we are pulling up on a diesel tank now. We're going to have to jump out and see how to fill this thing up here. All right, let's see here. I don't exactly know. But uh, I will figure it out, and I will see y'all back here in just a second. All right, so she is getting fueled up now. I think this thing holds 10,000 liters. I don't know why it's not gallons, but... We'll just have to figure that out some other time. We'll get this thing filled on up. It's going to take us a while, so. Got to sit back and wait. But. I wonder if we can get some other things done before then. I don't know. Let's go ahead and just wait. Hurry up and wait. We got about. 4,000 liters in her now. Uh, I think she's full. Okay. Let's hop on back in the truck then. Alright, so it tells me the correct amount in here. We got 990 gallons. Fuck, we left some soybeans right there. We have to come back and get that. I didn't even notice that. Well, we'll get this combine fueled up and emptied. Well, I don't think we'll empty it because the trailer's almost full, so. Let's see, it's probably not close enough. Don't believe it is. Let's fire it on up. Up, oh, up. Oh, don't want to knock stuff off there. See if we can back on up and get close to it here. All right. Is that working? Doesn't look like it. All right, we're getting fueled up now. See how long this takes. I think it's actually quicker than the gas pump. Not bad at all. I think this is a pretty good investment here. I like that truck too. Alright, well that's, while that's doing that, we can go on down here and grab the semi and bring that on up here. Alright, we are pulling on up on the combine here. Get this unloaded and get it sold. 
should be done fueling by now. So let's hop on out and jump in the Ford. Oh yeah, she's done. I'll park the Ford on over here in case we need it again. It shut it down. Get this unloaded just a little bit. Then we'll run off and uh, sell these soybeans. Close enough? We are not. We are way off. Okay. All right, not a problem. We'll back it on up just a little bit. Which is not my forte. But we get her done. There we go. Wonder how much is gonna empty. Not much at all. We're done already. Alright. Well gonna run on down to the co-op, get this sold, and I will see y'all back here shortly. Alright, we're pulling up on her now. And I wonder what the price is going to be now because they fluctuate pretty quickly. So hopefully we'll get another 300 and some thousand dollars. Which will be good. It'll help us pay for those silos. If we can get some. All right. Go ahead and get her unloaded here. Can we fit between there? Yes, we can. All right, let's see if we can back up and look here. Went through the roof again. That's all right. Oh, yeah, money's going up really quickly. 393000 So that puts our total bank total at $1.3 million right now. So we're doing pretty good. I think we're stuck, though. Uh, can we get through here? All right, let's try to go around. Guess we ate too much last night. All right, there we go. And I think that our fire station project is done. I'm gonna have to go up here and see. I heard the guys were done working on it, so let's run up here and take a gander at her. Oh yeah, she looks done. Look at that. Oh, they got an ambulance out here already. All right. That is pretty cool. Guess they're gonna give us a fire truck soon. They're probably looking for one. Oh, we got an ambulance. Fire station ambulance. All right. That might come in handy one day. We never know. But we'll get on back to the farm. And it's getting pretty late in the day, so I hope we still have some time. Oh, they still got the cones out here. I guess they haven't cleaned up yet. But uh, I hope we still have some time to uh, wrap those bales up. But we'll see. It's about two in the evening now, so. But we're getting it done. I will see y'all back shortly. We are back. We got one of the last loads headed out. Don't have much left here, so hopefully it doesn't take us too much longer. Really want to save this one, but we don't have any room. So I'm wondering 
we drop it somewhere else, will they hold it for us? Hmm. I'll have to give somebody a call and check that out. So I don't want to get rid of this. Well, I guess it wouldn't hurt, but I really don't want to sell it right now. So uh, I'm going to give some guys some calls when I get down here to the end and I'll catch y'all back here shortly. All right, so it turns out that they have built a silo down here next to the biogas plant that I never knew about. They said it's been up for a few weeks. And if I wanted to hold some there, I could, so... There it is. I never knew that was there. Oh, it's good for us. We can pull on in and drop some off. Not too shabby. All right. So I guess we'll take the rest of the loads here. Hold them until we can get a better price or see if anybody else wants them. There we go. Definitely got a good price right now, but if you can make more, why not? So that's what I figured. All right, so I'm going to get on back to the field and I will catch y'all back there. this last little bitty strip left like we always do except for that one time but we'll get this on up and then we'll fill the truck up one last time and head on over to the green van and throw it in I'm glad they built that because we definitely didn't have any more storage left. So I can't thank them enough for that. We definitely needed it. Thinking we'll probably sell the rest of these soybeans in January. I think that's when the price is going to be the highest. We could sell them now and get a pretty good decent profit, but... Not really what I want to do, so... And, um talked to the guy down at the shop and he said that they could get us somebody out here tomorrow start working on building us an extra silo so that shouldn't be too bad said it's not going to take long so said they'll knock it out pretty quick that'll be good for us we definitely need it pretty quick once they get that built, then we can run on down and grab all of it out of this storage silo down here. It's kind of hard for me to see the truck with the hitter raised up. Hopefully I don't run into it. There it is. Okay. All right. Thought we were going to get some more done today, but... As you can see, it's starting to get dark on us, so I don't think we're going to get to the bales today. We'll have to wrap them tomorrow, and probably it's going to be a full day of bales because we got to get some off the fields, a couple fields. we got to wrap some, and we got to take them and store them. Shut her down and hop on in the truck. There we go. Oh, wow. Yeah. We got to wash some vehicles, too. I, I don't even know where I'm going. Maybe if I turn away from the setting sun. Okay. It's a little weird because the sun's right there, but... All right. Yeah, we got to wash a lot of vehicles. We got to get everything ready for winter. 
Uh, haven't decided on a winter crop yet. I'm not sure if wheat will grow. Might be just putting a cover crop in and cultivating right through it next next year. So, not too sure. Let's turn our lights on because it is starting to get pretty dark. Not too sure what we're going to do there. But, uh, I also talked to the guy from the shop about a tractor. He said that he got us one picked out for that baler that will match it pretty good. So I went ahead and sent him the money. Sight unseen. So hopefully it's a good tractor. But he said it's he said it's perfect for it. So we'll have to check that out tomorrow too before we get started. And we're going right up here and dump this. I think we're going to call it a day. It is winter time, of course, so 5 o'clock it gets dark. And it is exactly 5.04 right now, so she's starting to get pretty dark out there. All right, pulling up on that silo now. Get this dumped out. See if she's dumping it. She is. I like the lights on this trailer. They are pretty good. Oh, that was pretty quick. All right. I think that's going to do it. Uh, we got a long day ahead of us tomorrow. We got to get all these bales out here. Well, we got these on this field up, but. We got some bales on that field. We got some bales to wrap way down yonder on the other grass field. We got some straw bales to get up. And we got some salad bales up there to get up. I haven't checked them. They might have been fully fermented already, but I haven't checked them yet. Down here at the, the dump down here. I haven't really checked this out too much yet. Let me see if I can jump up in here. So this is where you dump some rock. Got wood right there. Not too sure what that is. I guess that's cardboard. And looks like some wood chips. Like some grocery stuff. Uh, not too sure. Compost maybe. That probably goes with this over here. Some old brush and some old bales. All right, I don't know where the regular trash goes, but that's okay. Maybe that little bitty can right here. I don't know. But I appreciate everybody watching. And hopefully y'all come back for the next one. And as always, have a good one.